Father, I ask you that this word will penetrate in the tablets of our hearts. And we take it to the heart, Lord, and we meditate in your word day and night, Lord. That we will not give up, that we will keep on pushing forward. It does not matter what comes our way, Lord. We will keep on going, Lord, because our strength, our strong tower, our hiding place, it is you, Lord Jesus, and only you. The word that he gave me come from the book of Peter, 1 Peter 1, 3 through 7. And has, it says like that, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and does not fade away, and does not fade away, reserving heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith, for salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you greatly rejoice through now for a little while, if need be. You have been grieved by various trials, that the genuineness of your faith, that the genuineness of your faith, being much more precious than gold that perish through it is tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. So we are going through a period of time that our faith is being tested by fire. The Lord is expanding our territory. He's expanding our visions. He's expanding our lives. He's stretching us. I, I told him today, you are stretching. You are stretching me to the four corners of the earth. Through the north, the east, the west, and the south. That's the way, you know, I see it happening. And it's taking on us into an expansion. An expansion of, 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 of the spirit realm. An expansion of our lives, an expansion, and, and, and it is moving a strongholds in the mind, it's removing the old, is bringing the new, is it, is restructuring, is rewiring us from the inside out. And in all this change and all this transformation, you know, we go through different processes, and some of those processes are very painful. But it's only when we go through those process of pain that we reach a point in our life that we truly go deep down into Jesus and we go to the feet of the cross and we totally surrender to him and him alone. And when the Lord takes us into that place, it takes a time and in the time he processes patience in us. And it's not easy because many times through that process, we don't see nothing moving. And as human beings, we, 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 we'll, we'll start saying to him, Lord, but I don't see nothing happening. Well, you're growing. There, there are birthing pains inside. There are growing pains inside that he's developing because he needs you to have patience. He needs you to weigh on him. He needs you to stay still and let him be God because he's enlarging. He's, 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 he's moving things inside our hearts and our lives. Because he's taking us into a different dimension, into a deeper dimension of the spirit realm, a deeper dimension of intimacy with him, in which we're going to totally submerge into him. And we're going to let it go of all, and we're just going to seek Jesus. And that's where he wants to take us. That is where he wants to take us. And our faith will grow. And he will take us into a radical faith in a God that will never fail us. In a God that will never abandon us. In a God that will never betray us. In a God that will make our way, all crooked ways, he will make it straight. In a God that will come inside our hearts. And many times, because we have gone through so much in our lives, we don't even realize how much do we have inside. And he goes into those deep roots, 
those little tiny roots that are still there. And he pulled them out one by one. And in all this process, he's changing us. He's transforming our hearts. He's trying our faith. He's developing us. It's like a butterfly coming out of a cocoon. And when that butterfly comes out and breaks out of the cocoon, her wings are wet. So it needs to go through another process. Those wings need to dry in order for the butterfly to just take a leap of faith and fly away from the place that she was before. And that's exactly what the Lord is doing. It's a process. It's a very hard process because he's removing, he's shifting, he's changing, he's maturing us. He's expanding our faith to have a faith that will have no barriers in which we can go and move totally into the supernatural realm, believing on him totally and completely, in which our faith will be totally rooted in the living God, knowing the circumstances, knowing the things that we go through, knowing the people, knowing in material things, but only in Jesus, because he's the only one who can give it all to us. In him that is completion, in him that is truth, in him that is life, in him that is love, in him that is healing, in him that is deliverance, in him that is passion, that is all in him and only in him. So when we come and we go deep into him, there is a total completion of all things in our lives. And he's taking us there. He's developing us. He's changing us from the inside out. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I ask you that you open up the eyes of our understanding to see the things that we cannot see. To put our trust totally and completely in you, Jesus, and only in you. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you are doing. Thank you for every process. Thank you for every trial. Thank you for every tribulation because it's helping us to go deeper into you, to grow stronger, to move in a radical faith. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I bless you. And I declare shalom upon your life. Do not give up. Keep on pushing forward until you break through. In the name of Jesus, shalom.